Hello, welcome to the next video of video series on WSO2 Streaming Integrator Tooling. This video series will walk you through all the features of Streaming Integrator Tooling 1.1.0 product which we released recently. Watch our earlier video to take a first look at WSO2 Streaming Integrator Tooling. Now, let's dive into understand how Streaming Integrator Tooling help developers to write streaming applications easily. The new button in Streaming Integrator Tooling can be used to create a streaming application from scratch or use an existing sample to start off with the streaming logic. In WSO2 Streaming Integrator world, we denote this as a 1CD application. CD is the underlined streaming QL language, used to create various streaming logic. When it comes to writing the streaming logic, one can use Source Editor or the Drag and Drop Design Editor. If I talk about the source editor first, source editor contains various inbuilt features such as syntax highlighting, error showcase, tool tips, auto-completion etc. to help the developer as much as possible. Also CD is a SQL-like language, thus it will not take much time to familiarize with the syntax. Let me quickly showcase some of the capabilities. So, in this sample, let's say I want to create a new stream. So without having to write the syntax by scratch, you can leverage the auto-completion feature, like type def and, then search the keyword you need, and then create the stream construct accordingly. Then provide the stream name and corresponding attribute names and data types. For example, here we create stream foo with two attributes as symbol with the data type string and volume with the data type as double. Likewise, you can use the auto-completion feature to do your streaming logic seamlessly. Also, we have the auto-completion for all the source types, we have lot of inbuilt sources, so you can use HTTP, JMS, Kafka etc., so you do not need to actually remember these syntax, you can just type and use our auto-completion feature, and select what is the source type you need, like here, let's say, you type source and select the type you need, like HL7, HTTP, WebSocket etc., and then select it and that annotation will appear. Also with the auto-completion in place, with CD you can use various pre-built extensions in your streaming logic. Like let's say, you need to do a string manipulation. And if I take this query here, and if I need to do a substring, then I need to find out what are the inbuilt functions CD has, how to use the syntax etc. Like sources and syncs, we have lot of functions, which are pre-built into the language as extensions. So, you do not need to actually go into our documentation to find out what are the available extensions there are, rather you can use our feature called operator finder capability, where you can search required extension you need, and use it by just clicking on it. Let's say I search for substring, you can see it is in string extension, and you can find the function method name here. Also you can find out what is the documentation on it, you can find out what are the arguments it takes, data types, what are the return attributes and data types, examples etc. So without deviating from the tool, you can find the necessary information from the tool itself. Once you click the add to source, it will appear on the cursor pointer in the editor. Thus using these pre-built features you can come up with the streaming logic as quickly as possible. Next, if any developer do not prefer source editor, he can use the design view, where he will be able to drag and drop the elements, connect and create the flow. Let me show a quick example. Let's say user wants to create a new CD application, then he can navigate to, file, new button or the button in the welcome page, and here, by default we are coming to the source view, then you can navigate to the design view. In the left corner we have the tool palette, which has different constructs, so if the user wants to create a stream, he can drag and drop a stream, then once click the setting icon, user can give a stream name and create the attributes he needs. Also he can use this generate stream functionality. This feature give the user, the capability to automatically generate stream definitions without having to manually type each attributes, and data types. For example, if the user is reading a file or reading database table and trying to map the attributes to a CD, stream, then he can use this, to generate those streams quite easily. So here, I have created a stream. Then you can drag and drop a source, then you connect it, and once the setting icon clicked, you can select what is the source type you need. 
let's say, user selected HTTP. Then it will show what are the available attributes. Then the mapping types you need etc. Likewise you can configure this, and create your CD application using the design flow. Also in the samples section, if you think there is a sample which matches to your use case, so you can use that sample, first save it, then go to the design view, and it will populate the current design flow and you can edit as per your need. Since streaming integrator specialized in catering streaming use cases, we have introduced another feature called ETL wizard, where user is provided with wizard-like guide, to quickly create the use case. In the welcome page or the file browser, you can click the new ETL flow, where the wizard is prompted for you. It comprises of different steps as the first step being the configure source. So here, you can select what is the source type, let's say I selected file source, and corresponding attributes such as directory URL where the file is located, then proceed to next, then provide the stream name and attribute names and their data types. Then navigate to next and select the mapping type. For example let's select it as CSV. Then you click next, in here you can provide any filtering, like if you need to filter events which has price value more than 500 etc. I'm not going in detail about that now. Then you go to next, and configure the destination. So here you can select what is the destination it is, whether it is another sync like HTTP, Kafka or any other inbuilt transports we provide as shown here, or whether it is a data source which you need to send the events to. Let's say for this sample I chose HTTP, and provided the publisher URL, then you click next. Then you configure the output stream name and the attributes and their data types. Then also you select output mapping type. Say it's XML. Then you can use this step to add any additional processing logic such as group by, order by attributes etc. For the sake of this sample we are going to skip them. And next step shows the data mapping part. So now you have the input stream and output stream created and you can use this functionality to map those values. So you select the output attribute, and provide necessary logic like directly map the input attribute like so or you can manipulate the input value and use the manipulated value, like let's say, I want to add 50 to the price, and assign it to the output attribute of the output stream. We can do that like so. Then save finally. So likewise, you can quickly use this step-by-step -step guide to create your ETL flow seamlessly.